It's a sight and a loss Yesenia Valdez may never overcome. And I saw my brother laying there, and I just ran over and I just grabbed him. I just started yelling, hi, me, and just like, I'm like, wake up, and he won it. She, her mother, and a close family friend found her brother, 16-year-old Jaime Valdez, shirtless in the snow here near 6th and 9 in Fremont early Sunday morning. And we just pulled him into the car, and I held him, and, and, I, and I was, like, blowing on him. I was, like, trying to get warmth on him. They rushed him to the hospital, but it was too late. He was pronounced dead later that day. Fremont police are now investigating and say they're getting some conflicting stories. The family told me Jaime and his 12-year-old brother had snuck out of the house Saturday night to go to a college party. Jaime's younger brother says they both were drinking, a sad truth his sister wants to address. Every teenager says that, you know, they'll be careful and that, you know, they're just like, oh, we're just going to have a little fun. And she wants other teens to know a little fun can turn deadly fast. It can happen to a lot of people, and it did happen to my younger brother. Because now she and her family are left with just memories. He was really caring. He was always outgoing, always helping, always giving. And pictures. With photographer Nathan Jank, Aaron Murray, WWT 6 News. The family is still waiting on autopsy results from Nebraska Medicine. They believe that Jamie di or Jaime died of hypothermia. He attended Alpha Alternative School. That's here in Omaha. He lived with host parents during the week, but he returned to his mother's care on the weekend.